Hello everybody and welcome to another X Bikes video and today guys we're at a brand new track on MX Bikes called Canyon Rush. This track is free. It's actually kind of insane this is free because the amount of work that had to have went into this is absolutely insane. He even said in the description, Itchy, the guy that made this track, said that it took him 11 months to make it. Um, and I am not surprised because there's so much detail here. There's tons of assets. I, I can't believe how well optimized this track is and how well it runs with how much is going on here. I mean, look at this environment. It's crazy. And uh, he's added a lot of tr track sounds as well. So you got some music at the starting area. You got some, some birds chirping. And uh, look at that. You got some alligators in the water. His water actually looks really good. That's something I'll give him a lot of credit for. I've heard that's actually pretty hard to, to get working right. But uh, you can see here I'm walking across the bridge, kind of looking around, and just a lot of little details like that that, uh, that bring this track together. And we're going to get into it, have some fun. We're not going to run into this crocodile here. Okay, we don't want to do that. But um, yeah, Itchy did a great job. I highly recommend you guys get this track. Link will be in the description. It's free on MX Bike Shop. And you guys can also donate to him as well. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Oh. Alright boys, hope you guys enjoyed that intro. Uh, this is crazy, bro. This freaking track, it's a long one, and um, I I've ridden it a couple times so far. Got a few laps, and it is a ton of fun. So, yeah, we're just going to be having some fun on this track today. Hit that, some, hit that like button. And seeing what we can do, seeing some cool lines. Maybe there's some Easter eggs we can find, because this map is absolutely ginormous. And the environment's also pretty interesting. It's almost like a prehistoric environment. You got huge giraffes over here. Um, there's tons of animals and it's just cool it's just it's one of those fantasy tracks that like you kind of used to see back in the day from MX versus ATV or any of those old moto arcade moto games so it's, it's not something we get too much at MX bikes and you can see here you got freaking elephants over there got crocodiles in the water um, super cool the environment it's it's insane look at this you got this bridge jump over that oh my god you got this crazy step down right here and when i downloaded this track i had to replace a file in my uh my motocross folder i'm like how would i have had a track called canyon rush before and it turns out i it's almost been like a year itchy the guy that made this track actually sent me a very very early version to test way back i mean I'm, again it's probably a year ago I don't think I ever responded to him. Um, so, Itchy, for watching this, I'm sorry for never giving you feedback. Um, you clearly didn't need it because you absolutely killed this track, but I gotta work on responding to people. Uh, it's a huge issue I have, so, you know, I'm, just, I'm, I'm telling everyone right now, so, you know, hold me accountable, but look at how beautiful, look at the waterfall up there, dude. Like, he's, he's done a lot here. So, not only does the environment look great and he's got good models, but he's got good sounds as well. That's something we don't really think about when we think about tracks in this game. You know, unless obviously you're a track maker, but he's got a bunch of animal sounds. He's got the water sounds, and I don't know how he's done his water here, but it looks very, very good. I've heard that's a pretty hard thing to get right, but oh, it looks so sick. You got those hippos in the water back there. My goodness, you got these yellow tires, kind of something you, you, you've seen in MX versus ATV, Sandwick, you know what I'm talking about from Reflex. It's one of those tracks you really have to appreciate, you know, when you look around in replay mode or something like that. It's it's actually insane, the level of detail and the amount of thought that goes into this stuff. So, um, yeah, Itchy, I'm, I'm excited to see what, you know, he puts out. As time goes on, I think he spent about 11 months, he said, in the description of the shop post. 11 months on this. So... Put a lot of freaking time into it. I don't know if he's going to up his up his workload or he's just going to kind of release when he wants. But either way, this is something that I'm definitely going to be riding for a while. And a super fun track to, to race on. You know, it's it's super long, so, you know, I like that. I don't like tracks that are super short. That's why Supercross, to be honest, kind of gets boring for me sometimes. Um, you know, it's just like 40, 50 second lap times. When you got a track like this that's like three minutes, you know, four minute lap times... I don't know, man. It just it doesn't get old as fast. You know, you can do more laps and have a lot more fun. I'm going to take a little bit of a different line here. Fat whip up this. There's a lot of booters on here as well. You can throw absolute fatties on. And I do want to see if I can run a heater on here. But I do also want to look at some stuff. What's under this waterfall? He's going to have something under here. Right? I don't think he does. Looks like it's just rocks. Oh. oh. 
don't think he's got anything. I don't know if there's gonna be some type of Easter egg or something. We're just gonna re-enter the track. Can we get a good view here? Looking down this second waterfall. Can we ride down this waterfall? Oh my god, that's beautiful. I'm going down it. Uh, oh, oh my dude. No, I'm not gonna make a TikTok doing that. I could actually land that. So you can hear the sound of the waterfall hitting the water. That's, bro. It's just little details, dude. Those little details that, that really pull stuff like this together. And this is inspiring, man. I, I really have been contemplating making a track. And stuff like this just inspires me to kind of go crazy. Not do something traditional, but really focus on the environment as well as the flow. And, gosh, just the map is so big. And he's put so much foliage as well. I don't know how my computer's running this so well. I, I don't know how you guys are going to do as far as um, how this map is going to run. I do have a pretty decent computer. But even while recording, it's running pretty good so far, so very impressive. And I also know it's very hard to do, because I know guys that have made tracks that are... The map's probably one-eighth this size, and I can barely run it, so... Optimizing it is a very hard, hard set of track making that this guy has somehow easily managed to do. Oh my god! Little, little kicker there, I didn't even see it. Get up on the brakes. Jump across the water. Okay, what we're gonna do before this next lap is I'm gonna turn my max HUD back on and we are going to try to run a heater. Just see what lap times we can run. Because I do enjoy doing that. And we're gonna see if we can put down an absolute smoker. And then you guys can try to beat it on your own. So, I think the finish line... It's coming up after this jump. Okay. Let's get our standings back on. And let's get into it. My current record, 301.9. So it's looking like just around three minute lap time. We'll see if we can beat our previous fastest lap. I think it was actually pretty good, so this is not going to be easy. We'll see what we can do here. Rail on the south side. Oh god. Scrub. Do I carry more speed up this? Uh, not really. That actually might have been a mistake. I'm just gonna fall along outside here. I'm gonna try to scrub this perfectly. Oh, what a scrub. Back tire. Fourth gear was not the move there. Horse looking in time. Stay low here. Go on. Past the upper waterfall, jump into the water, past the alligator. Scrubbing this. Oh, I cased it. No. It's fine. We're gonna we're gonna lose some time here, but it's a long lap, so we can make it back. I think we'll go inside here. We're gonna have to send it inside. Oh, yeah, that was way faster. Oh, we're right back into this, boys. Scrub this. Scrub that. Scrub that. This is a pretty technical section here. It's pretty slippery. I'm not sure how good the cuts are on this either, so that could be interesting. Well, that might not even count. So we need to stay on track. So far, we are actually nuking our previous time. I don't know how. Oh no. He made that caseable. W itchy. You cannot mess up on gap doubles like that. That is a no no. Alright, we call this one the, the third sight lap, alright? That's, that's what we call it. That's the excuse. It's just a sight lap at the end of the day. We could actually still come back if we went absolutely just bonkers here. Oh, I'm going for it. Come here, boy. Oh, God. This did not go well. Oh, I should have crossed over the inside. It's fine. Roll this outside here. To inside. Oh, no, it's a double. 
Okay, you have to carry a lot of speed for this. Oh, we're kind of close though. I think going to inside here is probably quicker. Oh my god. I'm so lucky that that fence had collisions or my bike was going to Narnia. All right, let's try this one more time. I'm gonna absolute schmeezer on this. Oh my god, I got a little too steezy. Go to the inside. Scrub that to the inside. Scrub that. Hug this inside. Outside and scrub that. That was not a great scrub, but it'll work. I'm trying to run an actual perfect lap here. Could not make any mistakes though. Just very hard to do on this track. Over this. Fly down to this. Jump that, get on the brakes. Inside. To inside. Scrub the double, go past the other waterfall. Back to back doubles, apex into this. Holy crap. I ran out of tear offs already. It's gonna be a bit harder now. Real this outside. It's a pretty good lap. I'm actually just gonna go outside here and not even risk it. Inside sketch. Oh my god. Survive. Just. I did. I did. I did a Hayden Deegan. Turn around. What the fuck? Dude, I hate the. Okay. You know what, dude? I don't get the Honda sometimes. I'm just gonna say it. The Honda slow physics are actually horrendous in this game. I hate them so much. But we made a mistake. It's on us. We we actually OJ'd that so bad. It's actually crazy. So we're gonna do another hot lap after this. But we can still catch our ghost though. If we can, that's actually psychotic. Let's not be a very fast lap. I'm guessing a heater on a 250 is probably a low, a low 250. Like a 253, 252. It's like an actual perfect lap. So we'll see if we can get close to that. With no tear-offs either, we got dirt on the freaking screen. It's not ideal. It's double. Alright, here we go. Here we go, baby. Oh my god, we're not Already losing time, bro. We're off to a great start here. Oh yeah, we're going inside. E is our scrub this. Hug this inside. Shift up, rail that. Oh, we grease that. Holy. Holy grease. Ooh. Oh my god. Alright, reel the berm. Gap double. Gap double. Fly down the hill. We go outside here actually. Gotta carry good speed and spread not that bad. Oh no, we missed the inside. It's fine. Holy, that was a great line. Oh, what a scrub. Come on, baby. Keep it, keep it smooth, baby. Let's 
scrub that, scrub that. Alright, we're gonna rail this broom, carry some speed. And we're gonna go outside again, but we're not gonna actually OJ this time. I hope. Oh god, we... Yeah, we're fine. Landed in the goalie. Alright, get over that. Fat whip for the fans. I was, I was, I was, I was actually kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. I thought I was dead there, but... uh, We did not run out of talent quite yet. Get rid of that. There's so much dirt on my screen, I just noticed. I do apologize. But it just, it ups up the realism, you know what I mean? We are actually railing this. That's a bit of an OJ. We don't know talk about that. Inside to inside. Get over that. Okay, here we go. Got like a couple more corners after this. Can't mess up. We gotta send it though. Oh, okay, I'm railing this outside. Does the lap count? 256. Pretty dang good lap time. I feel like we low-key mastered this track in this video, but I enjoy guys hit that like button, that sub button, all right? Thank you guys so much for the support. We're almost at 61,000 subs. We're on the road to 70K, and then eventually 100K at the end of the year. So you'll be